Hey there, this is the Lego Jurassic World Dominion set called T-Rex Dinosaur Breakout. It's made for kids ages four and up. I bought this for $50 US and built it live over on Twitch. This set actually comes with a bunch of stuff. You get three minifigures, a helicopter, a small utility wheeled vehicle. This is a helipad with space to park the small wheeled utility vehicle, and then a gate and also kind of a, a control tower, tower observation post. Of course, the dyno, there's a little bit of fence back here as well. I want you to just get a general idea of the size of everything, kind of the mass of you know, how it really works out. And also just a quick look at what the main structure looks like around the back. It is super, super plain, which is kind of what's expected for a, you know, for a, a set that has a structure in it that is made for kids this young. The color of this T-Rex though, oh my word, it is so bright. That's the bright spring green, but then they accent it with olive green and some dark red printing on there. But you know what? Surprisingly, I, I'm not offended by this. I, I actually think it looks cool. It's, it doesn't, the brightness of the color scheme doesn't make it look more toyish to me than the ridiculous proportions of it and everything. You know, the, the fundamental toyishness of the physical design, this color scheme, I, my brain can actually accept it for a toy dinosaur. It doesn't feel like it's trying to be a toy of a toy. It doesn't feel like it's trying to be an alien. Like it just feels like it's just being a bright colored dino for kids. And I don't know, I, I kind of like that. I appreciate the fact that they went so audacious with the, with the color scheme for a change. So this has the standard articulation and it actually looks a little bit better like that when you see a little bit less of the bright colors, I think, but it has the standard articulation for these dinos, right? Up and down, down, up, rotate, individual hands. You can put something bar sized in there. This can move forward and back. There are some kind of action poses you can put it into, but not too many where it will actually balance. It's very forward heavy. Forget the exact pose, but I mean, there's just a little bit. I think you can do a little bit more than that though, but don't expect to get too much of an action pose out of it. Of course, the jaw is able to open fully, close up. You can also get it to kind of stay halfway in between. That's no big deal. And the tail is able to rotate around like so. It's very easy and quick to put together. There's a little bit of looseness here uh, in these in these joints. Kind of, I don't like that rattling sound. Makes it feel cheaper but ultimately this has the same stability as any of them do. I also don't like the little bit of overlap here on the top where the two side prints came together, whatever they use. It's a, uh, I think they're, it's like a, a wrapping technique as, a, as opposed to a, a stamp. I'm not exactly sure, but it doesn't look great down there, but since it's right along the spine, it doesn't look too bad either. Overall, this thing's kind of cool. This on the other hand, mm, not so cool. That is a print over there, thankfully, and this is a print. I'll show you a better version. Uh, I'll show you the, the print up closer. That's actually rather nice. This is not supposed to be off at an angle there, but a uh, clip on either side for a minifig accessory. The gate can be, you know, broken through, although it doesn't really look like it's holding anything back since there's nothing else on the other side. There is the helipad structure included in this set, but it's not really designed to even attach to this, so it doesn't they don't make it easy to suspend disbelief and help you to think that this is an enclosure involved here. But ultimately, you know, this is just an observation post. Put one person up there, got a little bit of communication here. Honestly, just about everything about this whole thing here to me is, is disappointing. It does not provide that much play value. This actually, as simple as it is, provides more play value because, hey, you at least have a ladder so that, you know, you can imagine the person climbing up there and you can use this as a little garage carport thing and it is actually a helipad you can put the helicopter on top of it like there's just there's just more to that in my opinion uh the rest of this okay you got the h on top let's look at this up close it's pretty perfect it looks like a little cushman runabout from the 70s a little, little electric thing uh, <laughs> that I used to see as a, as a kid. It's, it's just, it's just right. It holds a person in there and the person can be either sitting or standing to operate it, which is really convenient. And it just, it just looks great. And you got a little bit of cargo space here on the back. This has a, a gray, excuse me, tan colored egg in there. No print on that, but you know, do a little bit of transport. It's, it's just, it's all you could ask for, for what it is. 
The main helicopter piece being molded in dark green makes it feel a little bit more serious, even though it's a very simple thing made for very young kids, as does the inclusion of that print right there. Again, so that's a closer look, and totally you get three of that print, and it's just, it's just really nice. I think a lot of people will like to use that on their own custom things uh, for much fancier uh, builds, you know? In, in the future. Got an actual seat there, little printed console, and space for some cargo. So you even have a little little handle to hold on to the back of it, and you can just put stuff in there. So the idea is you'd probably transport the egg, you know, in its little case, or potentially you could put a different person back there. Only thing that I really don't like about these helicopters, that design for the 4 plus range, is that the main rotor is just so small. Does that really matter for play? Probably not, but I think it would be a lot more exciting looking if the tail was a bit longer and the main rotor blades were longer as well. Of course, you got the, uh, the searchlight over here as well, and that's that. Amongst the figures, we have, of course, the requisite Owen Grady, but he has a different print than usual with the long coat there printed down into the legs. That's kind of nice for a 4 plus set, although it's not printed along the side, not dual molded, which would have made it definitely better. But I don't know, it looks pretty good from, from the front and the torso print is good. The torso print of Zia Rodriguez in the middle though is absolutely ace. That is uh, representing the, uh, underneath the jacket is representing a vintage Def Leppard Hysteria Tour 1988 and started in 87 and in 88, you can see the, the base of the, the eight there, uh, t-shirt. <laughs> so any fans of Def Leppard, Leppard definitely wanna get, if not this set, at the very least, that figure. Because, come on, I mean, how often are you going to get that? This is cool to see that that LEGO continues to try their best to to make some some interesting, just barely not branded uh, uh, merchandise for figures, you know? And on the right is an unnamed wildlife guard who also has a very good print. I like that, the olive green color. Um, yeah, it's just very, you know, it's it's well done. It's not too specific. I like the face print as well. I think that's well matched. Uh, you know, use them as the helicopter pilot. They do not include a helmet for that figure. But I appreciate the dark green colored cap as well. It is the style that has the hole on top, mini pig hole. And over here, as far as accessories are concerned, this one on the left is supposed to represent a lit flare. This is a fire extinguisher. And you got the, the tranquilizer gun there. Finally, these are the only leftover pieces and there are no stickers because it's a four plus set. As for the price, $50 US doesn't feel good to me at all, especially since all of this is it's really not good. It's really, I, I'll give that $5 of value. Uh, no, nope, not for a dinosaur that's been around as long as this has. Yeah, new color scheme, new print, cool and all, but no, nah, I do not, I cannot. I cannot accept this being $50 US. If you like this, if you like what's in it, uh, I strongly recommend waiting for it to go on a pretty decent sale. Uh, $40 US even would feel like a stretch to me, like a real stretch. I would prefer it to be 35, honestly, just because so much of it is just really empty, you know? I give this like $20 worth of value, 25 tops. So yeah, take it from there. How much is the rest of this valued at? Not a whole lot, but definitely in total, not 50 bucks in my personal opinion. Mm, that's about all I got to say about it. So I will move on to the next thing and talk to you again soon. Bye for now.